Hey everyone, it's Pat Michu, founder of WealthyWomenLeaders.com. I wanted to stop today, drop everything, and take a minute to be with you. Because for the last two weeks, I have spoken to so many women entrepreneurs who are feeling depressed, frustrated, overwhelmed with how to grow their business. And on the other hand, how to stay grounded and to get a sense of achievement instead of perhaps at this time of year, the end of the year, that feeling of failure or not being enough or not having done enough. So in light of all those conversations, I wanted to share with you two of my success tips. Things that I do at year end that really work well for me to launch me into the new year with a mindset of positive expectation. So these are bonus tips for you. The first thing that I do is I keep a gratitude journal. I've been doing this for about 14 years now. I also include in my journal the different cards, the thank you cards that I get from my clients. Thank you. I love them. I refer to them a lot. I mean, they're just, they're a big part of, of my whole mindset and my sense of gratitude. So what I do on New Year's Day is I pull out the gratitude journal from the year and I sit and I go through it and I get a sense of really how many good things have happened this year in my life and in my business. So this is a huge, huge thing in my whole process of growing myself and growing my business. So get out there and get yourself one of these. The second thing that I do, and this is a habit that I do weekly, and I've told all my clients this, many of us as human beings have the habit of passing through our successes way too quickly. And we move on to the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing. And then, like I said, it comes to year end, and we get a sense of, oh my gosh, I didn't get this done, I didn't get that done. But hey, there is a way to keep track and to stay positive and celebratory. On Fridays, I write a success list. I very simply take an index card, and I date it, and I write down at least, at least five to ten things that happened this week that I'm so proud of, that I'm so happy about. And then I stop and take the time to read it, internalize it, and wallow in it. Now, I'm just putting away my cards for the year. These were the cards that I did every week for this year. It's a great habit to get into. So, okay, my to-do list may still be pretty long, but I've accomplished a lot, and I'm very proud of that. So these are two things I encourage you to implement into your life, into your habits this week as you head into a new year. It will make all the difference in the world. Now, if you want to know more and learn more about some of the things I do to grow my business, attracting clients, networking efficiently, public speaking and getting paid well for it, and so much more, you need to join me for my one-day intensive in London. Just click on the link below. Early bird rates end tomorrow. So for only $127 for a full day with me, come on, you and a friend who gets to come for free will spend the day with me and I'll help you with all of these items and more. You need to be there. Gift yourself that. Click on the link below. Do it today. I'll be watching for you. Thanks and have a very Merry Christmas. I'm here to serve and I'm here to help you be the best you that you can be in the new year. Bye everybody.